Like and she's, she's, she's the real owner of the place. Yeah. She's the real owner. <laughs> right, so. Grown. It has grown. So, yeah. So, Alright, so last weekend at home, and we're just in the back garden doing a little bit. Unfortunately, um, we had some very very sad news yesterday which i'm not going to go into detail for but um somebody that we know uh, has passed away so i think sandra's a little bit down on things um just a little, put a little bit of damp uh, dampener hasn't it yeah um, so sandra's feverishly working away what are you doing sandra so that bit behind you there needs a sense there used to be a compost bin there. Did it? But it was full of weeds and we sort of spread what was the compost across this bit of the garden but obviously all the weeds are starting to grow back and just picking out nettle roots and couch grass roots and that sort of thing and we're going to plant something here in the near future. And then we've just, you can probably hear it or see it, we've just got a load of uh, bits of sc scrap wood which we're just burning um, we're just clearing up near the house because we've got scaffolding going up there um, shortly. Now, last vlog, I asked you for some questions as well, so in a bit we'll we'll come down to answer that because I think certainly one of those questions involves Sandra. So uh, we'll we'll try and fly through those. For the minute, we're just having a couple of hours in the garden. It's quite mild, isn't it, as well? No, yeah, I'm uh, I'm sorry that we've got bits of conservatory and. Couch grass just gets everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Um, I hoped that we'd have enough wood in the log store um, for the next couple of weeks uh, until the end of the month because um, going into March the log fire won't. Anyway, we've, we've run out basically, so I'm going to refill up the log store and that'll be, definitely be the last one. Um, and this will be my final bits in the garden. Fingers crossed until, um, until the autumn. All right, compost heat's filling up, Sandra. Yeah. Huge. Look at that. Yeah. I just want to show people why I didn't want the whole lot digging over. So you've got a few forget-me-nots there. You've got Victoria rhubarb hiding, just, just peeking through. Clematis. Oh, what's the name of that one? Is it Calendula? No, not Calendula. What's it called? It's all like nettles to me. Campanula. No, nettles are mostly gone. Uh, normal chives, lemon chives, majorum, lemon balm, timberly rhubarb. Early or late? Early. Well done. And I haven't finished yet. Oh, sorry. And um, I don't know if that'll come back, but that was that one's lovage in the corner, and that one may it come back, and I think it was valerian. Mm. So yeah, everything, everything survived like I said it would. You have no faith in me, Sandra. But if you took it all over. Ah, it'd be fine, it'd be fine. <laughs> it'd be fine. So we're um so one of the other things, so with all this wood that we're moving about, is obviously the hat we're getting the roof retiled, which quite a lot of you will know about. Um so scaffolding's gonna be going up in um towards the end of March, so we're just trying to clear everything for that and obviously I'll be well before then the base foundation for the conservatory is all going back in and that's going to get rebuilt uh, yeah. so if it all goes to plan right that's done there and that's the um fire there uh, these old planks here um we're actually keeping so we do have a bit of a, a wood store at the top of the garden um where we just move them down from uh and then you'll remember all the logs that we split so these are all seasoning and they'll be ready in a year's time um but yeah steady progress definitely steady progress it's on camera you just told me not to dig anything over now you just said can you dig this over if i'm kind should i be kind and dig it over for sandra i'll ask you not to get the nuts apart from that oh they don't want to come out ah there it is right it looks like i'm gonna um I'm going to be digging over. Embers, embers, lots of embers. Right, I've dug so, that over. So they can go back in. Yeah. Somewhere there. 
please. Not metal. What? M3. The nice breeze. Let's drop them back here. Here it is, here it is. Dig, dig, dig. Hmm? Caskets are Right. Dig the greenhouse. Uh, right. It's um. Sorry, I say it's a greenhouse. It's more of a jar and bottle store. And what's this? That's not mine. Oh, that's a bit of kindling. That. Yeah. I'm going the kindling. I'm going the kindling. So, wait, is it what? Fine. Is it grape? Right. So that's got a good colour there. So what's the vine, Sandra? What do you mean? It's a vine. It's a grapevine. Grapevine. Right. Oh, there you go. That's, that's all it was. What sort of grape? What variety? I don't know, but they're red. Right. So we've got a red grape variety vine that sort of basically has taken over the greenhouse so that's getting cut back um and Sandra's little greenhouse ready for uh ready for well when when are we officially in spring is it march not far away uh row bags you gonna get any tomatoes this year sandra I grow tomatoes. I grew some tomatoes at the top of the garden the other year and they were the size of little pumpkins, huge varieties. Right, so that's just another area. Now having a bit of a a bit of a potter about and tidying up. Yeah. This is the porch base. Um so I'm not too sure to see where it was twisted. It's actually not gone through to the metal work actually, has it? So it's not too bad. Alrighty ho. So um after coming in from the garden we've got some stuff come through the post. The postman's been, hasn't he? Mm. And my Corando, my car that I had um the bad accident in is officially being written off. Do, 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 do. Uh... So um yeah, it was a category S write-off, which basically means structural damage but can be repaired. So somewhere along the line, someone's going to get a bargain. Somebody's going to have a uh, oh, probably um, somebody will get that and will be able to repair that. Uh, do you watch anybody out there watch Savage uh, Savage Salvage Rebuilds? Uh, <laughs> savage. savage. <laughs> well, they are a bit savage. Isn't it? No, it's an absolutely great. The, the, the couple of guys on that are amazing, um, but they basically um, buy cars like ours uh, and. Spend a few quid on them and take right offs and rebuild them and everything. Yeah, salvage rebuilds, well worth a well worth a watch. So we're gonna go and get a bag of coal. And then I need to nip in the loft. I've got a monitor for that Sandra once, and I need to get a couple of cables and stuff um for something I need to do when I get back to the nurseries. Happy days. Um, I thought we were supposed to do something else, no? What? I'm not sure. When? What? <laughs> I feel like we're supposed to be doing something else. I can't think of what at the moment. Passport? Yeah, probably that. I need to be, sorry, my passport's expired and I've had um, some passport photos done, so I need to get uh, my passport renewed. Um, and we've written off the car, Coles, loft. Oh, yeah, no, I think that's about it. And as I said, we need to answer some questions that got sent us as well. We'll go up to the, um, go up to the, uh, hmm? the log place, the coal place. I look up the road. Oh. By the post office. Boom. It's, it's a bit of a damp evening and we're gonna go and get a Indian takeaway from a, a new a new place near where we live. All being well, it's gonna be quite yummy. Ooh. So how can you remember what you've ordered? You've ordered a lamb biryani, haven't we? And got a lamb rogan josh, mm -hmm. some Papa Dom's chutney and some rice. Right. Yep. So first time here. Seems to be a bit of my old, what would you call this? My old stomping ground, this. So we're on Riddings Road in Timpley, if you know the area. And the place we're going to is the Indian Kitchen.
So they're all doing the cooking inside the window and everything. Let's see how we go. Um, great Indian kitchen, Riddings Road in Timpley. Once upon a time I used to be a councillor for here. And we've got the members of staff. Who, who are you? Um, this is my dad. Hello, Dad. Yeah, I was a man chef. I'm the owner. I used to be around the restaurant in Nottingham. It's called Dilly. Oh, yeah. Yes. And now I just find this place. I just one, started one month ago. Fantastic. But, uh, it's a very good community. It's a very good support. Thank you for everybody. Thank you. Brilliant. It's just a small family business. Uh, we opened up on the 1st of January and we love it here. Everyone's really nice. The customers are great and we're honestly very excited for the future with this place. Super. And who's this young man? This is my brother. Hello, brother. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's holiday. It's cool holiday. Oh, yeah. half turn, isn't it? And, and who's this lovely lady? This is my wife. And this she's, is, this she's one the one. real owner of the place. Yeah. She's the real owner. <laughs> right, so... Yeah. Thank you. So, so guys, we're going to sample the food, and Thank when we get you. home, we'll sort of do a bit of a vlog, and I'll let you know how we're getting along with things. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, pickles, that's going to be red hot, isn't it? And they've sort of slightly broken up poppadoms. Could be interesting, son. Looks like um, this is pomegranate with red onion, isn't it? This is way more here than that one. No. Well, I'll share my poppadoms with you, Sandra, because that's how special you are. All right, so mix it up a little bit. We've got some of the Rogan Josh, and some of the biryani and the rice. Um, let's get tucked in. All right, we've been we well we we're fed from the great Indian kitchen in Timpley. Lovely food, and what, what were they a lovely family as well? Mm. Really friendly. Um, the lamb Jogan Rosh was um, really tasty. It had a bit of a kick to it, didn't it? Mm. Quite tangy as well. And birani, that was okay. The rice, pickles, everything. Yeah, there's a lot of nodding today. <laughs> Still tired. Still tired. I've been conking out all day. This flipping cold I've got, it's been um, a bit miserable. So, yeah, so I say the Great Indian Kitchen, you can find them on Facebook. Um, they're on Riddings Road in Timpley, which is um, just outside Altrincham. Uh, so yeah, we keep saying we're having a final takeaway is the final treat, but this is da -da -da -da, getting closer. And we've had another quite a productive day. So we've done all the bits in the garden that you saw us doing. You've not seen us go up in the loft a couple of times. So you've got a monitor for your work computer. Mm -hmm. You've got a brand new mouse. Good, good job I've got all these things to hand. Oh, a keyboard, a light up keyboard. Mm -hmm. I'm very talkative now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Sandra says I need a new. Sandra says I need a bigger monitor. Than I've got. I said, hang on a minute, I'll go and get you one. Up in the loft, I went. And she said, I need, I need a keyboard. I said, I've got one of them. And up in the loft, I went. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then she says, I need a mouse. So up in the loft, I didn't go. I went to the conservatory into my other box of computer bits and pulled out a. Uh, a mouse. What else we do this afternoon? We've done something else. Can't remember. So not a lot of paperwork. Oh yeah, pass, pass, Passport, yeah, pass, so. passports gone in. Um, so all being well, I'll have a new passport soon. Documents for the car that's been written off. That's all gone. Um, and as such, and where are we now? Right. So the last vlog I did, I said, if you get any questions, fire our way, and we'll try and answer them. So. Some of these are going to be for me specific, and some are going to be for Sandra. So sorry, sorry, I keep looking down. I'm looking at my phone. So from Modest Adventures. Now then, after you finished the work of the day, I know you're never really off duty. What do you do to amuse yourself when you're stuck in the caravan? Keep it clean. Well, I have a shower. That's very clean, isn't it? I have a wash in the morning, and things like that. So. <sighs> When I finish work, to be fair, um, I try to cook my tea and all be well, not be disturbed. And um, if you've been watching the videos that I do when I am wardening, I'm always a day behind. And that's because I tend to film during the day and then in the evening I need to do the editing. 
that's all going to be uploaded to YouTube and everything. So that takes a bit of time. Um, I will, if I get a chance, catch up on the day's news. I don't know why I do that, because I get very angry. Um, Always. And then, uh, more often than not, it's a case of catching up on YouTube channels. Obviously, take Russia out for a walk. Um, when the site's got people on and it's sort of busy-ish, at, at 10 o'clock-ish, just nip into the loose, make sure everything's all all right, and um, make sure that the campsite's quiet for 10 o'clock. We have a sort of um, a hush period from 10 o'clock. So, yeah. You've missed something. What else did I miss? We sometimes Zoom. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, that's, yeah, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes... Um, it's, once a week or so, anyway, it? once every couple of weeks at least, we have a Zoom um, chat with Sandra. And what we might do, as a, which I have mentioned, we have got an app where I'm able to um, speak to Sandra, but you guys on YouTube and Facebook, it all interfaces into there. So, yeah, it's it's it's, it's been like living at home, isn't it? Basically, what do you do when you get home from work? So, yeah. Um, Boathead on saw. Uh, look forward to seeing you at the nurseries. Look forward to seeing you guys. A new seasonal pitch with us for your first year. I see you got a new caravan. That's fantastic, Linda. Um, so it's not a question, but look forward to looking at your videos. It's going to be like being on holiday. Yeah, follow us on the journey. Let's fingers crossed. We're going to have a, a beautiful, beautiful summer. Peter, don't forget the trail cam. Um, so the trail cam I've got already. As the nursery is all being well, we'll catch you some footage and fingers crossed, Dan will have his and we'll be trail camming away. If you go down to the woods today, you sure have a big surprise. Um, what's this now? Uh, Gas Casp says, Do I need a first aid certificate in case um, customers need urgent med medical? help to answer your question on that one no i don't um but i have had first aid training sort of several times i've done care work in the past and it's part of the um the inductions that you do you have to do that but no i don't have a um a first aid certificate and if an emergency happens it would be a nine double nine we actually had uh, an ambulance a blue light ambulance on last season um, I have got an idea, so I'm not going to say what it is at the moment, with regard to safety on the campsite. Watch this space, in, um, fingers crossed, in a few weeks, and if the idea comes to fruition, you'll get to hear about it. Um, Suzanne, Toon, is your son wearing a false beard? And why? So Simon Pure is my son, he's replied to this, so um, on a recent video you've seen Simon, he's got a, a whooping great big beard, hasn't he, a big, I think it's, Simon your moustache isn't as curly as it used to be, but he's, he's got a curly tash, hasn't he? <laughs> and it really is the real thing. It really is. So yeah, that's, um, yeah. Patricia Brown, how long have I had the job as campsite warden? So the role I'm in now, I started last April, so I've returned. I'm returning to the site I was on last year, um, but previously um, I've worked a season in Northumberland, up by Hadrian's Wall. I did a full season in West Wales, um, a place down near a place called Newcastle Emlyn, down literally in the southwest Wales in the middle of nowhere. Did a short stint at a site in Somerset, and then... Uh, Lake District, this time last year, that's where I was. That didn't work out, but I'll come to that in a moment on another question. And then, obviously, I've ended up um, working at the nurseries. So, yeah, a few sites, so a few years' experience now, and obviously a bit of experience under under my belt. Um, b -b 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 Alistair Vincent, still talking about looking forward to seeing us back at the nurseries. And obviously, with Dan and Mazzy. Um... I'll let Sandra answer this one. This is from Mary Corcoran. Mm. Will Russia miss Sandra, do you think? And how will Sandra manage cooking her meals as I did all the cooking when at home? So, 
last time when Neil took Rasher away, every time I came to visit, she'd sit on the bed and look at me longingly. So I think, yes, she'll miss me. And the cooking... I've got a second. What? Sub supplementary question. Will you miss Russia? Um, apart from the walking. <sighs> okay. <coughs> Sorry if I start coughing and spluttering, by the way. This cold is yeah, doing my head in. Trying to make me ill, but so far I'm resistant. Yeah. Yeah, I really... En Sorry, who is this from? From uh, Mary. Mary? Mary. Yeah. I really enjoy cooking, Mary. I just like cooking different things, Neil, so I'm actually quite looking forward to cooking Sandra food for a change. Yay. What? Are you going to miss my cooking? Eventually. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> so the reason, Mary, that you see me do so much cooking is pure and simple because I can. Um, Sandra's working hard all day and yeah, I think it's only, it's only right if I'm at home to actually have a meal uh, ready. Um, yeah, but also when you are away, you've not got the full oven, so you've been cooking things so it's not lots easy to cook in a caravan as well. no no so it's quite funny so come in a couple of months people will be asking me do you ever cook neil um because when i'm away it's it's all ready mainly ready meals that i live on so you've seen me cooking proper decent food and i love absolutely love cooking but when you're single it's hard to get motivated to do a proper to to do a proper meal and the pain in the backside is a caravan warden is you can be waiting for your check-ins to come in in the afternoon and you're thinking brilliant I'll be done by five o'clock and then you're hanging around for one person that says I'll be there by five and they don't come and then they're going to be late and if you can imagine trying to cook and then you're just getting disturbed it's quite um yeah it can be quite hard sometimes um but that's not moaning um but it, it can it can be quite hard to do that so it's for Mary uh, Aiden Skinner, are there any Haven sites I wouldn't work for? I wouldn't work for any Haven sites, period, end of, never again. Been there, seen that, done that. I came home with a T-shirt. I've got a boffer badge. If anybody's ever worked for a Haven, I did boffer. Does it no. work? <laughs> um... Yeah, if you work for Haven, you'll know what Boffer is, and yeah, um, no, I won't. I don't think I would even ever contemplate working for a large organisation again. Um, yeah, the, the the Haven experience, the staff amazing, my managers amazing, my boss, everybody amazing, but the company um, no misguided in their their standards. My standards and their standards are very very different. Um, boom, 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 boom. What's this, Paul Young? Good fun. Oh yeah, Paul. Um, Paul always does a reply to us on everything. Um, so thanks. Um, and what have we got here now? Basically, John Hales is just saying safe travels. So I think that's it for those questions. Um, and that's about pretty well a wrap, really. It's been a bit of a weird old vlog this one, hasn't it? Look. Yeah, definitely, def, def, definitely a weird old vlog. Thank you, everybody, for contributing. So, to say, Sandra's a bit down today with this news we mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, so, she's going to have a bit of a, uh, a glum day tomorrow. So, we're not going to go into what's happened, but um, yeah, it'll be okay. Things will be all right. Right, we're going to wrap that there. Um, I keep keep saying these vlogs are going to dry up, so I might get something out next week before I go away. If not, we'll have to wait and see. You got anything to say to the viewers out there? Just looking forward to spring and yeah. Oh, and sun has been sewing for me as well, haven't you? I have, yeah. So yeah, I, I go through. It's it's mainly change and keys in my pocket. I always get holes in my trouser pockets. So I've got some real tatty jeans. And I think they've been fixed about. There's, there's repairs on repairs on repairs, isn't there? Yeah, I've actually unstitched a previous repair. and So I had an old pair of trousers that, of mine that have wore out and I realised that my pocket is still fine. So I took off the old repair, cut off my good pocket and stitched it into your pocket. 
Dan zijn we altijd. Um. Ah, sick. Let's see if we can play pocket billiards. Really? Right? What? <laughs> What's that mean, Sandra? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and your, your duvet needed a bit of patching up, didn't it, as well? Yeah, my duvet. Cover, yeah, yeah duvet well, cover. the duvet cover um, had like a few yeah. holes in it, but Russia's claws had done that, so that's all done. And Oh, does anybody want to see about knitting? I'm not, I'm oh, right, hang, on, hang on a minute. A so, yeah, knitting, I'll just turn the camera off here, let Sandra get her knitting and give you an update on her knitting. So, I've, sorry, I've got Sandra with me with her knitting. Um, so, if just pull it into the camera. Down, 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 there we are. Well, it's grown. It has grown. So, yeah. So it's not quite finished yet, but it's getting longer. I'm just going to lift it up, um, just to give you an idea of the length of this. It's getting longer, 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 so, longer, so, longer. So long. the general idea is it'll be like a shawl in the end. Oops. So it's getting there. Good. I can't wait till mine, till I get mine. You can have this one. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll be able to be a badger on with that when I've gone as well, won't you? You won't have me pecking you for jobs and things. Well, that, as you've got stuff to plant in the garden now, and yeah. Super duper. Mm. Right, should we wrap this off and um, catch you all soon and things like that? Do you want to say goodbye? So, them. Over there. Over there. Hello. What are you doing? Hiya. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye for now.